Okay, so let me just get this out of the way here. This video was not supposed to happen because, well, some errors happen. My computer, ever since I've been using it today, has been fucking up consistently. Every software I use has been glitching out, lagging, things have been freezing, my programs keep stopping. Everything's acting as if my computer's going on an overload or something. It's just it's just not working. Every piece of software is being corrupted as a result. I don't know what's going on. Um, I thought it was because I have too many files and because the video files I've been making the past few weeks have been quite large. And there's been like five or six of them. So what I did in an angry pit of rage while my computer was completely fucking up, I highlighted everything in my movies file and threw it right into the trash bin. And un I didn't realize that I had highlighted... The fourth episode that me and Table Corner had completed, and as a result, I accidentally trashed everything, including that new episode, and everything's gone. Every video that I made from yesterday back has been deleted, and Table Corner, if you see this, and anybody else who sees this, uh, I apologize. That was my fault. You know, my computer was fucking up, and I got too angry, and in a pit of rage, I fucked up this entire week. I, <laughs> I deleted our fourth episode, so that's that's not fair to you guys. I'm sorry, but uh, that's what happened. So now, after I do my thousands of apologies, because that is really worth thousands of apologies, let's get into why I'm doing this video. <coughs> So this is a really poor replacement video. The ex the reason I'm doing this is because me and Table Corner had given our predictions for WrestleMania 27. We went out through the match card order that we thought it would be, and we gave a prediction on each match that was going to take place. So, you know, that was the first part of the video, and then, of course, the, the last half of that video was our review of each weekly show that took place. Okay, the most the more important part was of course the twenty seven you know, WrestleMania twenty seven predictions. So since my fuck up, I should I think you're entitled to getting a prediction video from me. And also an announcement of why you won't be getting an episode this week. Anyway <coughs> So WrestleMania twenty seven. This pay per view has a really strong undercard and even the main events look fairly strong. I'm I'm pretty psyched for the card. I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, they're kind of torn on what to think of the card, but I'm actually looking forward to the card, and I'm intrigued by the card. So without any further ado, let's go through the match order. I'm, of course, like usual, I'm going to layer out the card, like how I think it'll be booked and what matches will be where, and give a prediction on each winner. What I think will open up the show will be the United States title match between Sheamus and Daniel Bryan. Um, this is one of those matches that... Could be a, a, you know one of those mid card classics you know a great opening match you know there's no money in the bank this year so the you know you need some kind of undercard match that will really get the crowd psyched and pumped up for the rest of the event I think this is the match to do that and I think the WWE knows that this is the match to do that I expect a great contest between these two maybe between like <coughs> I'm gonna go fair and say between 10 and 13 minutes like give it the time you would for a money in the bank you know like a 10 13 12 minutes should be good. Uh, but this has a potential to steal the show. You know, Sheamus is a king, no pun intended, um, when it comes to working with the smaller guys. You know, he's always shined well when he's working with, like, a Kofi Kingston, a uh, John Morrison, or his opponent this Sunday, Daniel Bryan, as you've seen from their Raw match a few weeks ago. And then, of course, we have Daniel Bryan, who's an in-ring magician, basically. He can work a great match with anybody. So, you know, it's, it's his first WrestleMania, Sheamus is second, I'm sure Brian's going to want to impress on his first WrestleMania. This should be great, I'm looking very much forward to this match, and I'm sure Sheamus will walk out the champion. I think it's I think it's too early, and I don't think, you know, they're going to take the belt off him this early. So, I take Sheamus to retain that match. Uh, after that, I believe we'll probably get the eight-man tag team match of Big Show, Kane, Santino, Morella, and Vladimir Kozlov teaming up. To take on their common enemy in the core, um, which consists of Wade Barrett, Ezekiel Jackson, Justin Gabriel, and Heath Slater. Now, see, this is a match that I'm kind of torn on because while I would like to see the core win, and I could, I think they could greatly benefit from a win. You know, they have been very dominant through this feud, like Slater and Gabriel. 
you know, they've made Santino and Kozlov's life kind of living hell. You know, they took the tag team titles from them. They've kind of attacked them on different occasions. And Barrett and Jackson and the rest of them have also done that to Big Show. They've been very dominant against their adversaries throughout this feud. And, you know, going back to uh, WrestleMania four years ago, WrestleMania 23, there was an eight-man tag match with the ECW originals like Rob Van Dam, Tommy Dreamer, Sabu, and the Sandman taking on the new breed, which, of course, was Elijah Burke, now known as the Pope. Uh, Marcus Corvon, formerly known as Monty Brown, Matt Stryker, and Kevin Thorne. And, you know, that match, the new breed had momentum going into the the pay-per-view, but, the, you know, the ECW originals ended up winning anyway. So I think we're going to see a similar scenario. As much as I would love the core, see, or to see the core win their first WrestleMania match, I just I, this seems like a whole scenario where WWE is going to have the babyface team win, which I think is going to happen. So I'm taking Big Show's team to win this, but I really think the core could benefit from a victory. I just, you know, the the, the formula just, you know, I just can't. I, I wish I could see them winning, but I, I really just don't. After that, I'm sure we'll be treated to Rey Mysterio versus Cody Rhodes. I'm looking forward to this match as well. This should be really, really good. A great contest between the two. Cody's a solid worker, and then Rey's a fantastic worker. The two combining will just be great. Um, you know, there's been great build put into this match for an undercard match. Uh, it's very intriguing, and Cody showing, you know, perhaps doing some of the best stuff he's done of since his WWE debut. Um, Cody Rhodes will greatly benefit from a victory, and, you know, it's another thing that I'm kind of torn on, because, you know, the last few years, Ray, you know, the last four WrestleManias that Rey Mysterio's been at, he's won. And in a similar scenario with CM Punk last year, or Punk could have greatly benefited from the victory... You know, Rey Mysterio ended up winning, although I kind of expected that because of the whole stipulation with, um, if Rey would lose, he'd have to join the Straight Edge Society, and I just, I never bought into that, so I didn't expect Punk to win, even though I could have thought he could greatly benefit from it. There's no silly little stipulation like that. Mysterio doesn't have to join anything, he doesn't have to quit, doesn't have to take off his mask. You know, it's just a standard one-on-one -on -one match. So in that case, I'm going to go out on the limb and say that Cody Rhodes should and will win this match at WrestleMania. I think this is the beginning of a big push for Cody. Uh, should be a great match as well. Moving on from there, we have John Morrison, Trish Stratus, and Snooki. Yes, Snooki. Teaming up to take on Dolph Ziggler and Laycool. Of course, those being Michelle McCool and Layla. Um, this should be an interesting six-person mixed tag match. You know, Layla, Michelle, and Trish are all interesting divas that, you know, I care to watch, so it's not like that's all bad. And Ziggler and Morrison are fantastic workers. You know, Snooki's just a little celebrity involvement. I don't think she'll get too much in ring time. This should be a lot of fun. Um, I expect a good match out of this. I definitely see Snooki's team winning for the publicity. Uh, I do not see the heel team winning this match at all. Morrison, Stratus, and Snooki to win this match. I don't think Ziggler and Lake will have a chance. Moving on from there, I'm sure we'll get Randy Orton versus CM Punk. Now... This, like Brian versus Sheamus, has the potential to be the show stealer. You got CM Punk, a magnificent worker, and Randy Orton, who's great at getting the crowd involved in a match. And well, Punk is too, but you know he's he's that great face that can get the crowd to really go for him. You know, uh, so it'll be an interesting dynamic to see. And I really hope Orton doesn't overly sell the knee injury because that might take away from the match a little bit. But uh, the whole structure. You know, as much as I don't want to see Randy Orton win, I think he will. CM Punk just does not have good lucks in these type of feuds. Like, I would really love to see Punk win. I think he could benefit greatly from the victory, but I don't see him pulling off the victory. Unfortunately. So, I'm sure it'll be a great match. But, um, I see Randy Orton gaining the upper hand and uh, eventually winning this match, unfortunately. But CM Punk could definitely use the victory. I'd be glad to see him winning it, but this I, I just think this has Orton winning written all over it. So, yeah. Uh, after that, we'll probably have the World Heavyweight Championship match with Edge defending against Alberto Del Rio. Uh, of course, it's been announced that Christian will serve in Edge's corner while Brodus Clay will be in Del Rio's corner. That should add an interesting dynamic to this match with both of those men being at ringside. Um, this is another match that could be really, really good. Um, Del Rio is a pretty solid worker. Edge, you know, always brings it for WrestleMania. He's had great matches in the past. Like last year, his match with Chris Jericho I thought was great. Uh, three years ago against The Undertaker, I thought it was, you know, that was the main event of WrestleMania. I thought that was a great match as well. And even his triple threat with John Cena and the Big Show was very entertaining. 
So, you know, Edge really knows to bring it for WrestleMania. I'm sure Del Rio in his first WrestleMania will want to bring it as well. Uh, I see nothing but good things from this match. Um, I definitely see Del Rio walking out with the title. Uh, I think Christian's involvement is going to end up, you know, even if it doesn't end up in Del Rio, you know, submits Edge clean, which is what I would prefer. But I kind of see it either going down either this way. Either Christian full out turns heel and costs Edge the title by attacking him. Or if he tries to help Edge out, but, you know, botches his interference and ends up costing Del Rio to win. And then Edge can turn heel and, you know, blame Christian for all his downfalls as of late. I think, you know, the finish will have something to do with uh, with, with a Christian, with some sort of Christian interference. Um, but my preferable match ending would have to be Del Rio going over Edge cleanly in the middle of the ring. Whether it be cleanly or some sort of interference from Christian or Brodus Clay, I see Del Rio walking out of WrestleMania, the new World Heavyweight Champion. After that, we have Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole with Stone Cold Steve Austin serving as your special guest referee. And, of course, Jack Swagger, Cole's trainer, will be in Michael Cole's corner for the match. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. I personally cannot wait for this. I, I would just love to see Michael Cole get beaten around the ring. You know, with Austin and Lawler there, you know, they'll take out Swagger early on. Cole will get the beating of his life. Maybe even superstars like... Our truth or Daniel Bryan, people who Cole has verbally insulted for months, will come out and get their revenge on Cole. You know, I'm sure Steve Austin will let Lawler do anything to Cole out there, regardless if it's an ODQ or not. I don't think he's going to care about rules. It's going to be a fun beatdown, and it'll be a fantastic uh, a spectacle to see for all of us Cole haters. Michael Cole, in his heel run, finally getting those comeuppance that we've been waiting for for months. Should be fun, Jerry Lawler to win, and Michael Cole has no chance this Sunday. Uh, after that, I hope, is the Undertaker versus Triple H no holds barred match, because I don't want this to main event, and I'll get to what I want to main event after this. This should be really good. Um, I have full, you know, I think both of these guys will bring it really good for WrestleMania, uh, especially with the no holds barred stipulation. I'm expecting a brutal brawl. Uh, each guy putting it all on the line, you know. People are expecting Shawn Michaels to have some sort of involvement in this match. I don't see it like that. I hope Shawn Michaels doesn't interfere at all. You know, he could sit at ringside and watch, but I don't want to see him physically get involved in the match. I'd just rather see Undertaker and Triple H go out there, you know, tear it into each other until the Undertaker gets his eventual 19-0 win. I think everybody's expecting the 19-0. I, I definitely see the Undertaker winning this match and going 19-0. So that's enough about that. should be really great. And the main event, I think, should be the Miz versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. I'm kind of torn on this one, too, because uh, this is a scenario that has, you know, the, the traditional Cena comeback and having him, you know, overcome the odds and defeat the bad guy and walk out of WrestleMania your champion. But after what went down on Raw this past week, uh, John Cena ended up attitude adjusting The Rock getting the last laugh on The Rock on the last Raw before WrestleMania, basically pissing the host off of the show. So I definitely see The Rock interfering in some way, shape, or form, and that leads me to my winner. I'm going to go out on a limb and say The Miz will take advantage of The Rock's interference and find a way to retain against John Cena due to that interference. So, yeah, I think The Rock will end up costing John Cena the match. Uh... Even if he's not meaning for The Miz to win, I think it's going to uh, lead to The Miz winning the match. The Miz will take advantage of The Rock's interference this Sunday. That is my prediction. And I may be going out on the limb there, but that's just how I see things going down. I just, I don't think John Cena, you know, after, you know, what happened Monday, I just don't see The Rock not costing him the title at this point. Anyway, those are my predictions on this Sunday's WrestleMania. Uh, it should be a really good show. I plan, uh, of course, I'll be ordering it live and watching. And, of course, me and Table Corner will have our review shot Sunday night right after the pay-per-view. It'll be up a few days afterward or a day or two. We'll find out. Uh, we'll see you all later sometime this week or next week. Peace out, and sorry about the, the issues with the fourth episode. I'll try not to delete it next time.